Okay, here's how to easily beat Imagawa Yoshimoto. In this video, I'll use an axe for the first half and dual swords for the second half, as those two weapons are particularly easy to beat him with, even with simple attacks. But you can use whatever weapon you would prefer. Enter and he'll do one of a handful of attacks. If it's this red attack, I prefer to run left until the electricity pool it spawns is gone. If it's an arrow attack, hold your block button down while dodging through the arrows. The attack he just did is the one to look for, as you can immediately follow it with two easy high stance strong attacks. When he shoots arrows in the air, just run left or right until they've all fallen. When you run left to avoid his red electricity attack, sometimes he'll immediately run to attack you too, but if you keep running, he won't get to you. You can counter his other attacks like that one with more aggressive play, which I'll show right now, but the simplest and safest approach is to keep your distance and wait for him to bridge that distance with his forward slice and follow up strike move. Again, dodge through his arrows and hit him if you want, but it is safer to just dodge left or right through the arrows instead and be patient while you wait for that move we've been looking for. You'll spot it because he kind of hunches down ready to spring forward. When you see it, just casually walk to the left until he finishes the second strike. Then you can get your counter attack in. Use whatever yokai abilities you have for a bit of fun. That's the Yatsu Nakami yokai ability. I'm not doing it here, but you can also stop him from shooting arrows by interrupting them with a shuriken or kunai throw, though it can get you into trouble if you don't press your throw button the instant you see him pull out his arrows to use them. I find it easier not to do that though, I find it easier just to run from the falling arrows and hold guard and dodge for the ones that he shoots straight at you. I'm countering that bridging move that he does right now, but before that you would have noticed I walked to the right while he was doing it rather than the left, which is what I said to do earlier. The reason I walked to the right was because when he started that move, I was near the left side of the arena, near the wall, so there was really nowhere for me to walk to the left. It was much safer for me to walk to the right. So long as you choose which way you're going to walk early, and so long as you kind of take notice of your surroundings before you do that, it'll be safe to walk either left or right. Typically though, I walk to the left if there's room. So here I'm going to the left, and I'm now using dual swords to get my counter hits in instead of the axe. Use whatever move you want, but Sign of the Cross on dual swords is really great here. You can get in two Sign of the Cross hits, sometimes three when you counter. If you go for three though, be aware he may do a red counter and instantly hit you on the third. It's safer to just go for two and back out. Sometimes he will even do it on the second, but rarely. More often it's on the third. And the good thing about Sign of the Cross is, if you hit him with it, he will nearly always momentarily stagger on the first two hits you do. So yeah, go for two, and if you want to play safe, go for two and get out. Oh, and you'll want to have both Sign of the Cross skill nodes unlocked in the Dual Sword skill tree. There's only two for Sign of the Cross. Basically one unlocks it and one speeds it up. You'll see them there. That said though, I'm only using Axe and Dual Swords to show they're good for making this fight easy. Ultimately, it's the strategy of keeping your distance and waiting for his distance bridging attack that makes this fight simplified, so with that strat alone, you can use any weapon you want. Once you get this simple approach going with whatever weapon you choose though, stepping up to a more aggressive playstyle and using your entire arsenal of tricks makes this a fun fight. But for this vid, we're all about how to get the simple and easy path down first, and we've done that. He's dead. So that's it for another Neo 2 boss guide. I'm Fuzzy Barbarian. I hope this helps you out. Until the next one, bye for now.